Mike Bond here with Kyoji Horiguchi, who is just days away from competing in the Bellator versus Ryzen event in Japan on New Year's Eve. And Kyoji, I'm very curious. Uh, you have fought for Ryzen. You have fought for Bellator. What is it like seeing them do this event against each other? Is it a conflict for you because you have a history with both sides? Uh, I'm really happy because, you know, um, don't have a, like a history, you know, like the yeah, I'm happy. And uh, also, also I need an exciting fight, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And do, do you miss fighting in Japan? It's been a little while since you've been there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I fight there uh, last September. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you think when they came to you with the matchup, though, right? Like, you've obviously fought this guy twice before. You beat him twice before. Uh, were yeah. you hoping for a new opponent, or do you like the idea of having to fight him again? Um, I don't care any anybody, you know. So I I beat him twice, but uh, he's uh, maybe better than um before you know so i need to show who's a better again you know yeah. do you uh look at your teammate kayla harrison and what she just went through in pfl she was yeah. fighting clarissa pacheco who she had beat twice and everyone was just thinking she was just gonna win easily again yeah, but yeah. we saw it was a very tough fight did you guys have any conversations about the mental challenge of doing what you're gonna do here uh we're not uh, talking about like a fight um but uh, um just uh talk uh, I'm talking about a uh, joke all the time you know <laughs> yeah do you do you look at what happened to her though and does it remind you that you do have to take him very seriously even if you beat him no i'm before? always seriously you know because of fight uh, both same weight. If uh, he if uh, punch got got the face, of course knock out. You know, it's a, a complicated uh, fight. You know, so I always uh, focus. Yes, that's yeah. the right way to do it. Yeah. And, uh, has training been good for this one? I know. You know. Um, obviously, an important fight too. Regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like, do you, Scott Coker said that he wants, you know, Bellator to win all four fights in this. Is there like pressure that you're not only fighting for yourself here, you're fighting for the whole Bellator brand and trying to win these head to head matchups? Yeah, of course. Um, we, we need everybody win, you know, so, but, uh, I don't care about, uh, uh who thinking, you know? So I I just show up who's the best, who's the best fighter. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And what do you think this leads to next year? I mean, obviously, I know the Grand Prix for Bellator didn't go how you wanted, wanted it to. Uh, but do you feel like once that's all done next year, it seems like we're going to get the final. Uh, are you going to start trying to work back towards the title? Or what do you think next year holds for you? Mm. I'm focused just on next fight, so maybe thinking about uh, uh, after this fight. Yeah. Who do you think is gonna win that final between uh, Stotts and Patchy Mix? I think uh, Patchy Mix is gonna win. I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's very good, right? Yeah, he's very good and. Uh, he have a really conf confidence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that a rematch you're hoping to have at some point? Yeah, of course. Why yeah. not? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. How important was the September win for you? You've never really had back-to-back -back losses before and to get past that and be back on the winning track, uh, did that help your confidence? Yeah, uh, I'm always uh, have a confidence, you know, so doesn't matter lose win doesn't matter yeah but uh, yeah i get 
I got win at that time really happy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> sure. And what do you want to do in this fight before I let you go? Uh, you beat him by decision once. You beat him by submission once. Are you going to try to knock him out this time? Is that the goal? Or no, you I want to I wanna always keep on finish, you know. It uh, doesn't matter submission or KO, you know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're good. <clears throat> Where do you think he's improved the most since the last time you guys fought? Uh, I think uh, he gets striking better, also grappling better, you know, everywhere. He's a MMA fighter, so um, I'm really careful everywhere, you know. Yeah, and just last thing, um, does this feel like special? I mean, I know New Year's Eve in Japan, it's like one of the biggest things in MMA history. There's so much historic events that it happened. So to do this again, like, does this feel like a special moment for you every time? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's my my inside really weird because you know always uh, always the Japanese rising side, but now it's the American side, you know, Imperator <laughs> side. It's it was funny, you know. <laughs> yeah. What? Do you, how is the crowd gonna react to you? Are they gonna cheer you because they yeah. know you so well, or are they gonna yeah. not be yeah. happy with you because you're Bellator? I, I don't know, <laughs> but some people uh, told me, uh, uh, oh, Kyoji is the enemy, you know? <laughs> it's a real fun. <laughs> yeah. No, no one can boo you though, Kyoji. Yeah. We all love you. You're, you're such a likable yeah. guy. No one can actually <laughs> feel badly towards you. <clears throat> and uh, while you're over there, I mean, do you, do you see family for the holidays? Are you going to stick around? Like, what are you going to do while you're in Japan, while you have the chance to be there? Mm, I don't care about the holiday, you know, so just keep uh, training, you know, yeah. Yeah, always training. Yeah, always training. Yeah, yeah. man, you work hard. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the time, Kyoji. I know you're Thank leaving you. for there tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I hope it's a safe trip and uh, best of luck in the fight. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.